Okay, this looks to be working. So we are back. We are back with our final test of our multicam series and we have gone through a number of tests. So if you've been following along, you probably have seen some of the other videos where we tested the Elgato uh, CamLink 4Ks. We had two of these with two cameras. We also tested two Magewell USB capture cards. And then our last test, we tested the Yolo Box Pro, which um, we uh, published a couple days ago. And we are back with our final test, which is capture cardless. So uh, you might have this setup available to you and no hardware required um, using a USB camera and if you have an iPhone and you're in the Mac OS um, kind of ecosystem, there is a functionality called continuity. So we are connected with our iPhone through the uh, Apple iPhone continuity. So we're using the, basically what that means is that that allows uh, our Mac to connect via USB. Well, it basically looks like a webcam to the camera. So um, it's similar just in terms of just output and it being wireless to a NDI uh, kind of functionality, but it's a proprietary setup through Apple. And if you have a iPhone, a modern iPhone, um, it's definitely a feature that you can take advantage of, which is neat. So we don't have any hardware outside of our cameras. So I have in front of me, I am shooting my main shot on my Logitech C920, which of course, if you've been following along, I do a lot of little tests on this webcam. Uh, it'll run you about 50 bucks. And then I have my iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is, uh, again, you can use any uh, modern iPhone and you, you can use it as a continuity uh, webcam. Um, the other part of our setup here, we have a, we still have our, our mixer. So we have a Mac, uh, Mackie uh, Pro FX 10 channel mixer. Again, we're not using all those channels, but again, this is really, if you were to expand your setup or if you had a, a more going on from an audio standpoint, um, you can always use a mixer that allows you to uh, bring in multiple audio sources and be able to send those to your computer via USB. So we are connected via USB. We also have a Akai MPC-1 that's connected to our Mackie mixer. Again, all running through USB. And that's really the setup. It's a very simple setup. It's all connected through USB or you know, uh, Wi-Fi or, or Bluetooth based on the uh, continuity pro protocol. But um, yeah, this is what we're, we're, what it looks like. And it's definitely a affordable budget friendly option where, you know, you can use equipment that you already have at your disposal and um, make good use of it. Now, here's the thing about this particular setup, and this might just be, um, a me thing or a, my camera or my particular system. But if you've been following along in my other C920 series, you will notice that there's a, a frequent flicker that happens with my C920. And I have done a lot of research and I have not been able to resolve that issue. So you're gonna see that it actually just happened. So you're gonna see this happen periodically. So, um, you know, that's, that's something that I, I see being attached to the C920. Um, if you look on Reddit, there's tons and tons of, of threads that are just, you know, how do I solve the flicker um, situation? So I don't have a good answer for that. So that is something to consider if this is the camera that you're going to use. But if you use a higher end uh, USB camera, uh, you should not have that same issue. I'm sure other cameras come with their own issues, uh, but I did want to call that out. Now, what we're looking for is really 
um, the synchronization, right? So are we getting dropped frames? Does it look choppy? How smooth is the motion? Uh, we also are looking for, um, you know, just are we, how is this load? So I can tell you right now, CPU is looking just about the same as any of the other camera setups through with the, the, the capture cards that I've done. So that's positive so far. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a few minutes online. Um, I'll probably go for about 15 more minutes and just kind of talk about this test and some of the things that we've seen over the last week as we've tested these other capture cards. I'm really just seeing how this performs in a real live scenario. So if you're curious about perhaps expanding your live streaming setup and you want to go multi-cam, this is a potential option for you. And it might be things that you already have around your house. So um, that's, that's also even better. So um, the other thing about our setup, so I, I, I've talked about the pricing. Um, again, this is probably the most affordable option, uh, depending on how you look at it, right? Obviously an iPhone is not cheap, but it's something that a lot of people already have and it's something that you can repurpose. Uh, so I'm not taking that into consideration, but I mean, realistically, <laughs> This is probably the most expensive if, if we look at it the other way, right? So I, this is a Pro Pro Max um, 14. And so uh, I think that one was, I don't know, almost $1,100. So, um, but again, I don't have to go and buy a new device. I'm using what I already have. And that's kind of the nature of uh, actually these tests because all of these are uh, devices that I have are just laying around that have been collected over the years. So um, I'm still getting the flicker. I'll just show you what we have in OBS. We have our original three scenes. So we have our primary camera here. We have our iPhone overhead cam. And then we also have our picture in picture. So um, same layout as our prior test. The other thing, so lighting is 100% the same as all of our other tests so we have not changed any settings on our lighting we also have now obviously the logitech c920 has a uh, kind of a unique setup i do not use auto settings so i did adjust the webcam settings to uh, align more closely with what i would shoot on my mirrorless camera um so we basically i tried to match what this camera uh what i normally have on this camera so um obviously it's not going to be 100 percent, but it's as close as i can get it with what uh, parameters i have to work with in the logitech g hub app so overall though i think it's it's looking okay i still despise that little flicker but again that's kind of beyond the the stream at this point that happens even if I'm recording so um, that's something that you know it's just it just comes with the the territory of the c920 hopefully one day soon I might invest in a new webcam and kind of leave this <laughs> leave the c920 behind but uh, for now this is what we're working with um, again this is not a sponsored post uh, this is all 100% financed and, and funded by myself. Um, all of these devices are devices that I have owned uh, for quite a while at this point, but um, things that have just been collected over the years. Um, there are no corporate sponsorships on this channel, period. So um, if you are liking this type of content and you want to see more, definitely support the channel and you could do that by hitting like, you can also subscribe. And of course, these are the types of, of um, uh, um, videos that we do. I like to do head to head comparisons. Also, um, we are dabbling with software uh, in terms of just all things content creation. So the how to's on how to uh, put out your content in a more uh, efficient and effective way with kind of practical tools that you may already know about or have access to. So 
Um, as we are, are looking here, it looks like we've been going for about 10 minutes. I will show the overhead cam here. Uh, I'm gonna play some audio from the MPC-1 just so we can get, you know, stay at parity with the rest of the test and uh, we can uh, show what that looks like. But again, this is really to show what a live performance could look like. So uh, this setup here is really uh, a, a placeholder, if you will. Um, obviously not everyone is going to be, you know, a beat maker, but if you're a songwriter, if you're, if you play piano or guitar, or even if you're like a, a, a DIYer, a crafter, an artist, um, any, anyone that wants to show the technical nature of, of their craft and you want to have a visual on it, this is a method for you to do that while still maintaining your, your uh, talking head view. So just to give folks a little bit more of the behind the scenes, kind of, you know, more of a, a of an intimate look at what it is that you are doing. Okay, so I'm going to head to my station here, and I'm going to be playing uh, just a, a quick track here. Okay, we're gonna mix that live here. So again, um, the mixer is doing all of the work for us in terms of our audio interface. Uh, this is really, uh, I like to use the mixer because I can you know, expand my setup if I wanted to bring in, let's say if I were had another person in here and I were doing a podcast, I can easily just plug in another microphone to my input and, you know, uh, unmute and, you know, mix it uh, together. So uh, we could easily expand this thanks to our 10 channels that we're barely using two of. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is, this is really a flexible setup and I'm going to just show you what it looks like as I go to our picture in picture view and uh, again this is just a very simple way to bring a, a different dynamic view to your your live stream without the need of a capture card so um, it's you know obviously there's pluses and minuses to all of this but um, some of the things that you might run into in terms of just challenges with a without a capture card, everything is running through USB. And with that, there are bandwidth, potential bandwidth issues. So I think I mentioned this before, but I, I'm using a MacBook Pro M2 and I only have three ports. <laughs> I have three USB-C ports that I can use. And I'm using two of those ports just for a dual head that goes to my USB hub. And so I have a power hub that allows me to uh, bring more peripherals into my system. Also, you know, run my uh, video, my uh, HDMI, to my monitors and other USB devices that I am using to expand my functionality. Um, but it can get overloaded. So that's the big challenge with USB is, you know, you plug in too much and we, you know, lo and behold, you, it runs into issues. Symptomatic of what we might be running into with the C920. So I don't know if that's the, the final issue with my Flickr. Um, I think it might also be with the Mac OS uh, compatibility. I really have not been able to nail that down. The other potential issue with this setup is because we are using the continuity, now that's all wireless and it's based on the device being on the exact same network as your computer. So it's network dependent 
and if there are any challenges with connectivity with your with your network you can run into some issues and not be able to actually use this so you know it, it works while everything is working <laughs> and everything is connected but if there are any uh, issues or interference or perhaps maybe your network's not working or it's down um, this would not be a solution for that so uh, yeah this rounds out our test I really just wanted to show what it looks like as a potential option as we're exploring this multi-cam setup again this is two cameras um, it could be any camera any USB camera any any camera that also uh, works as UVC so I actually have another camera that um, I don't use very often but it could very well be uh, used as a replacement in this particular um, setup and you could in theory put more than one USB camera right so it's kind of dependent upon your USB ports and your bandwidth right your computer bandwidth for those USB ports um, so I don't know what what that looks like I'm only doing a dual camera test just to stay congruent with the other tests that we've done here but it might be a fun thing to dabble in in the future so well, we might tinker with that at some point. All right. Well, this is going to be the end of our test here. And I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, go ahead and like. And of course, if you want to see more of this content, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you around soon.